Here we've got our bronze pressure relief valve with easing gear. Uh, we call it easing gear, some people call it relief lever or lever. But basically what this does here is, is a manual override. So if I pull this up, you can see a bit of air will come out the top here, but it will also flow through the outlet port, which you can see in our highly technical bottle over here. Now, when you buy this, the it, it may not be set if you haven't uh, required setting or you haven't ordered setting. So what the spring range would have is a pressure range. For instance, this one is uh, two to five bar within the spring range. What that means is this can be set at its relief point anywhere between two and five bar. So what you need to do is set it. Now you can do this, and this is just a simple rig using compressed air, or you could do it in line if the media is something that you can blow off the atmosphere. So a few steps to do it and a couple of tools. Here we've got our hex head drive, which we can loosen these to these act almost like a grub screw on the side to hold the head of the lever in place. And we'll also have to take off this ringlet here. So we loosen these off, take the ringlet off. That will allow you to remove the handle. Just pin through and remove the handle. These are loosened off. So what this exposes now is where we set the pressure relief valve. So this nut here is just a retaining nut. What that does is once you've got the pressure right, you tighten this up. So the first thing you want to do is loosen that. That will allow you to adjust this shaft here. So we want to set this at three bar. You can see on the scale up here. So what I'm going to do is take the pressure up to three bar. And you can see it's bubbling right there. We already preset this one. But let's say we wanted to change that. We come back to the relief valve. We want it to go down, so we would loosen it. Turn that a quarter turn. I take the pressure back up now. It should be set slightly lower. You can see that's now by blowing at 2.9 bar. So if I was happy at what that was doing, I would tighten this retaining nut back up. This just keeps it set at the pressure that you've chosen. Stop any vibration. The head back on. Put the pin through the lever. Put the retaining ring back on the pin. And then put these two retaining screws back in. This will lock the top of the pressure relief valve in the position that you want it to be in. Once you've done that, you would want to record your set pressure on the front of the plate and install it in line.